Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today we're going to be checking out a fan game called Blocky World and they asked me to let them know my opinions on why it is failing. The first thing I want to say is the name Blocky World does not sound like a fun game. It doesn't even sound like a game, it sounds more like a showcase. Uh, I, I won't really say a title is the reason the game is failing or anything like that, but personally, if I saw an ad and the game name was Blocky World, I probably wouldn't click on it overall. So there's there's one thing, take it with a grain of salt. But right here, it looks like you have just about 5,000 visits, which means you probably tried to advertise it once or you have some sort of fan base and they just didn't stick around to play the game after their first impression. So let's see what's going on. Now, I do have my game sound on at the moment. You guys cannot hear it because, you know, that's uh, kind of tough. I don't want I don't want any copyright claims or anything like that, but let's check out the game. I'm going to click on our plot. I did load into the game a little earlier, a few days ago, but I haven't played anything yet, and I didn't even do the tutorial. So, welcome to Blocky World. Before you start building your, before you start your building adventure, you should probably run through the game basics. All right, let's go. Firstly, head over to the hub. Oh, oh, it's this button right here. Oh, uh, maybe an arrow right there would be cool. Would be pretty cool. Okay, so this is the hub. You can find a bunch of things here. But first, let's head over to the mine. All right. Um, so here's the mine. I would definitely recommend for this tutorial, add arrows. Uh, so like you could kind of follow the arrows. I feel like that would help so much. But here we go. We're at the mine. Okay. I'm in the mine. Oh, now there's arrows. Okay. <laughs> now there's arrows. All right. So we're at the mine. Here you can find various ores. Sell them over here for coins. Let's head over and buy some blocks. All right. Cool. And there is arrows. So that's very nice. All right. Right here's the shop. I will say the building aesthetic is very nice. You could buy all the blocks you'll need from here and build whatever your heart desires. Okay, cool, cool. So let's just buy, uh, let's buy some grass. We'll buy 10 of those. Buy. There we go. And we have 240 coins. We'll buy some wood. We'll buy like 20 of those. Sure. And then, uh, and then we'll buy some darker wood. And I'll get like 20 of those. Because why not? Now, before you head back to your plot, a few other things you can find at the hub. This is the trader. You can trade your coins for diamonds. All right. These are pickaxes and swords. Okay. A portal you can head this this way to fight mobs and pvp okay so like yo the game it genuinely looks awesome like it's a great a great aesthetic what is this bro don't ask me don't 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 do this stuff man don't pop up random I, that's a personal personal thing don't do that <laughs> so it looks like this is more so a building game and the simulator mechanics are not on your plot at all so for example, I could build my house. There's actually a really smooth building system too. It snaps really nicely. So it's like real easy to place whatever you want to place. I like that a lot. All right. So we could build uh, let's, let's kind of fill in one more row here. It has nice sound effects and everything. There we go. Now let's grab our little uh, wood. The textures are beautiful as well. Like very good building aesthetic here. Really smooth, really calm music as well. All right, so let's go to our pickaxe. I want to destroy the uh, the edges here. And holy cow, we're definitely going to need a better pickaxe. <laughs> holy cow, this thing is pretty tough. But it's all good. Let's see. Destroy that. Let's destroy this one. And then these guys out here as well. So it looks like it's a simulator. Uh, pretty much a mining simulator at its heart. But the reason it's so different from, for example, mining simulator is because you can build your plot and build a super awesome house now personally i think this game would uh would do very good i don't know exactly why it's failing yet i'll get into the mechanics a little bit more in a second but uh at this point in time it's a really quality game i will say walking around um you feel like you're moving really really slow and i know there's shift to sprint which helps a lot but if a player comes into the game and they're walking like this, uh, people don't usually like to move slower than they have to. So that might be something. But I don't really, uh, I don't really think it would be that big of a deal unless they feel like it's lag, which could be a thing. Players be weird sometimes. All right, let's get some stone for right up here. There we go. And uh, here's like a little hut house. <laughs> we'll get some bricks. No, let's not do that yet. All right, so let's go back to the hub and see the actual core of this game. Well, I guess the core would be building. Let's see what supports your building habits, okay? So we have to mine. 
All right, let's just go to the mine. Here we go, guys. Q, we got our pickaxe. We're going to the mine. Boom. And let's just see. Let's just see how it goes. Very Minecraft inspired as well. And maybe people just don't want to play Minecraft on Roblox. But we'll see. I think you nailed the music track or whoever you hired to do it. I think it just perfectly fits this game. As well as all the sound effects are really calming and satisfying. I feel like I could, if I got into this game, I could play it for hours and hours. Just because it's just real calm and satisfying. Any building YouTuber, that's who you need to hit up to start advertising this. People who do building stuff. So build a boat, uh, islands, all of those guys. You need to hit up those guys for your advertising because, oh man, they would kill it on this game. And I'm sure you could build quite a, uh, oh, I don't like this. Okay. I don't like how you have to select what you want to sell. Like, where? I don't even know what ores I have. I wasn't paying attention. Is it just stone? Um, do you have to, like melted or something first oh it was dirt you probably can't sell dirt okay so at this point and it might just be because i'm dumb but i'm a little confused so like we mined up some dirt cool and the tutorial said go to the mine and then sell what you got uh I, you can't sell dirt and of course that's an easy thing to look past for me like oh i just need to get better stuff to sell no problem but uh players they could get really confused and click out right there there's not too many, uh, you don't get too many chances. I'm guessing you're making a video. You know it, my guy. All right, so at this point, I don't exactly know what to do because I can't farm the, uh, the cool materials with this axe. I'm gonna try again. So we have something right here. And as you can see, I'm hitting it and I can't farm it with, oh, I can. It just takes a really long time. Okay, there we go. So now we have something. Let's go to the surface. That was like a purple guy. And let's go to the cell spot. Okay, and it highlights what we have. That's nice. That's really helpful. All right, so you just can't sell dirt. Makes sense. Now, let's go check out the pickaxes. We got this one equipped. 500 for the next one. All right. An insta break for 1,000 Robux. Yo, if I still upload it on the Intel Plays channel, which I might get back to sometime, I would genuinely come on this game. Like, I think I could make pretty awesome content on this game, man. So, maybe. I think... That, uh, that selling thing is a little strange. I think you have to get used to it. And a lot of players don't give a game enough of a chance to get used to something. That's why repeats of games do so well. For example, when the first Pet Simulator came out, like 50 games like Pet Simulator came out, or any of the clicking games, none of them have unique mechanics. Because once a player learns something, that's kind of all they, they want to do. They don't really want to learn something new. And this works for a lot of things. If you're a builder on the Roblox platform and uh, you just build and you don't know Blender yet, you kind of put Blender off for a very long time because you just don't feel like you can learn it maybe. And uh, I think that's the only thing, man. There's a little bit of a learning curve to this game. And I think that's the main reason it's not doing too great. But if you had a couple influencers hop on it and show their fans how to play the game and all the awesome stuff you can do, I have no doubt in my mind that this game would pop off. Like, honestly, I don't think this thing's gonna fail. It's really cool. Really, like, the vibe is perfect. A chilled out lighting, just everything is good. So I'm sorry if this didn't tell you why your game's failing. Because I don't think it's failing, I just think it hasn't seen the right market yet. But guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy and you want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.